Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about dimensions in arrays. Dimensions in numpy arrays in Python. So dimensions are four types in um, arrays. Those are zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension and multidimensional. We all know arrays is used to store collection of data items in a continuous memory locations, right? Okay, so the declaring syntax for array is array name array name is equals to np dot array of values 10 20 30 okay so in this way we can create array next what are the dimensions what is dimensions so arrays are four types four dimensions First one is zero dimensional array, zero D array. So zero D arrays are also known as scalars. Okay. The scalars are the elements in an array. Each value in an array is known as zero D array. First, suppose the array which contains only one element that is nothing but zero D array. Okay. So array which contains only one value. Okay. That is nothing but 0d array create a 0d array with a value 42 okay so for that purpose you need to import numpy first okay import numpy as np so we are renaming array so in the last class i have discussed about the array introduction and how to import um, numpy and how to install numpy okay next import numpy as np next array name is equals to np dot array of 42 so uh, arr is array name is equals to np means numpy dot a array is a function so i want to store only one element that is 42 so some memory is allocated for 42 and 42 is stored in that memory location next by using print i am printing the value in array so it will print 42 okay so this is the output next if you want to print the data type um, of arr if you want to print the data type of ar it will print nd array so nd array is nothing but the element in array is known as nd array okay next so 0d dimensional contains only one element next one is one dimensional array so one dimensional array has 0d arrays as its elements okay an array that has 0d arrays 0d arrays are nothing but values elements okay the array which contains only one element is known as 0d array right here an array that contains 0d arrays is known as one dimensional array or unidimensional array okay so we all know 42 is a zero dimension because it contains only one element a is equals to np dot array of so suppose 42 53 and 72 okay so here 42 is one di zero dimension 53 is zero dimension 72 is zero dimension so an array has zero d arrays zero dimensional arrays as its elements is known as unidimensional or one dimensional okay so let's see the syntax and example so here import numpy as np next array name is equals to np dot array of 1 2 3 4 5 so i want to store five elements okay so that's why 1 2 3 4 5 so some memory is allocated for five elements continuously in that memory location so the elements are stored 1 to 5 okay so next i am printing the array elements we all know array index value starts from 0 okay 0 1 2 3 4 first element stored in 0th location last element is stored in a of size minus 1 location so here the size of element is 5 number of elements are number of memory locations are 5 5 minus 1 4 okay so next i am printing the elements in one dimensional array okay 
so you need to remember one dimensional array contains only one subscript okay next one is two dimensional array so in one dimensional array the elements are stored in a continuous memory location okay next one is two dimensional an array that has 1d arrays as its elements is called two dimensional array the array which contains one dimensional array as its elements then it is known as two dimensional array so these are often used to represent matrix because it contains two dimensions okay it contain two 1d arrays one is no, known as rows and another one is known as columns so normally 2d arrays are stored elements like rows and columns so that's why it is used to represent matrix okay next so here the example create a 2d array containing two arrays so one array is 1 2 3 another array is 4 5 6 okay so if you observe import numpy as np arr array name is equals to np dot array of 1 2 3 next 4 5 6 so here 1 2 3 is known as one dimensional right next 4 5 6 is known as another one dimensional so 2d array contains two one dimensionals okay so it contains one dimensional arrays as its elements so that's why it is known as two dimensional array okay so if you closely observe here uh, the starting uh, subscripts contain so here it contains number of subscripts uh, two okay starting two and ending two so this is known as two dimensional the array which contain two subscripts is known as two dimensional okay so the elements are stored like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here number of rows are 2 number of columns are 3 okay 2 into 3 matrix true rows 3 columns okay so this is one matrix so two dimensional array is used to represent matrix okay clear yes the next one is 3d arrays okay an array that has 2d arrays the array that has 2d arrays as its elements is called 3d array three dimensional array okay so we all know 1 2 3 is 1d array right next 4 5 6 this is also 1d array so 2d array contains one dimensionals so this is one 2d array next i am storing 5 6 7 okay 8 9 10 so this is one dimensional this is one dimensional the array which contains one dimensional is known as two dimensions so this is one two dimension and this is also one two dimension an array that has 2d arrays as its elements is called 3d arrays okay so in this way we can represent 3d arrays okay clear so let's see one example so here example program create a 3d arrays with 2d arrays two 2d arrays both contain two arrays with the values 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 6 okay so we all know two dimensional array is used to represent rows and columns right so i want to store 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so this is one two dimensional array next i want to store one more 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is one two dimensional so the three dimension contains two 2d arrays so this is one 2d array this is also one 2d array it containing two 2d arrays okay so i want to create one 2d uh, sorry 3d arrays okay so first import numpy as np next arr array name is equals to np dot 
array of so listen carefully so here 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is one dimensional 4 5 6 it is also one dimensional so these two are known as two dimensionals so if you kept these two so this is one dimensional this is one more one dimensional if you kept these one dimensionals into one more dimension this is known as two dimension okay so in the same way next one is this is one dimension this is one dimension so i am keeping these into one more dimension this is known as two dimension so if you kept these two two dimensions into one dimension this is known as three dimension this happens in this example okay so if you closely observe 1 2 3 is one dimension 4 5 6 is one dimension so i am keeping these two in one more dimension this is known as two dimension next 1 2 3 4 5 6 i am keeping in one more dimension this is known as two dimension so if you want to represent three dimension you need to use one more subscript okay so here starting step subscripts are three and ending subscripts are three this is known as three dimension so if you want to create four dimension okay so if you want to create four dimension then you need to take three sorry two three dimensions okay so this is one three dimension right you need to take one more three dimension like this and you need to kept in one more subscript this is known as four dimension four dimension is nothing but two sorry five dimension is nothing but two four dimensions six dimension is nothing but two five dimensions like this it will goes on okay so next i am printing the array values one two three four five six this is one matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is one more matrix okay so see this so if you want to represent so here in one dimensional the elements are stored in a continuous memory location 1 2 3 4 5 so if you want to represent each element uniquely this is 0 1 2 3 4 okay so one index is a of 1 two index is a of 2 3 index is a of 3. Okay. So, 1 index is a of 0. Next, 2 index is a of 1. 3 index is a of 2. 4 index is a of 3. And 5 index is a of 4. So, in this way, you can easily identify. So, in 2 dimension, the elements are stored in rows and columns format. So, this is 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, these are the rows and these are the columns. So, if you want to represent any value uniquely, you need to use a of, so I want to represent 1, a of 0, 0. So, in C or Java, we represent two subscripts, 0, 0. So, 0 and 0. So, in this Python, we can represent, we can represent by using comma, 0, 0. So, in 0, 0, the one element is there in 0 comma 2 so in 0 comma 2 0 through second column the 3 is there next 1 comma 1 so in first row in first column 5 is there so in this way you can represent each element in three dimensional so in three dimensional so the elements are stored in this way so here two matrices are there yes so, in the first matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, this is 0th matrix. This is first matrix. So, 1. So, here also 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, here if you want to represent first, uh, first number. So, here first it is kept. It is there in. 0th matrix next 0th row 0th column okay if you want to represent 2 next it is kept in first matrix so 1 comma 0th row comma first column right next if you want to represent 6 so a of 
so it is there in first matrix and first row and second column so in this way we can represent each element uniquely every element in array contains unique index value okay so this is one example okay so import numpy as np next so this is zeroth dimension array because it contain only one array element so this is one dimensional array the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 next c is equals to np dot array of 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here it is one dimension one dimension so it contains two one dimensions is known as two dimension next 1 2 3 4 5 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here it contains two two dimensions so it is known as three dimension next i am printing a values b values c values and d values so it will print 42 1 2 3 4 5 next 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the output first a output is 42 b output is 1 2 3 4 5 and c output is 1 2 3 4 5 6 d output is like this okay so these are the dimensions of uh, zero dimension one dimension two dimension and multi dimension of numpy arrays okay next so if you want to know the dimensions number of dimension the array consists check of dimensions numpy array provides the attribute the attribute is known as endim endim attribute is used to know the number of dimensions that the array have so let's see here import say i am preparing zeroth dimension one dimension two dimension and three dimension so if you want to know the dimensions of uh, a then you need to use a dot array name dot endim endim is attribute which is used to know the property of dimensions of array so it will return zero next if you want to know the b dimensions b dot endim if you want to know c c dot endim d dot endim so it will return 0 for a 1 for b 2 for c and d for 3 for d 0 dimension 1 dimension 2 dimension and 3 dimension so here the elements are the output is displayed in only one line so one line if you want to display every element in a separate line you can use black slash n black slash n means new line next line okay a dot ending black slash n b dot ending black slash n like this okay so ending is attribute which is used to know the dimensions of arrays okay so i hope it is clear so what are the dimensions and how to know the dimensions of array so if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you